Alright, welcome back everybody. Do you see what I see? Uh, looks like Kevin picked up another part and this is going to go into the magnitude. So, as you guys are aware, the Thor Magnitude RV, our Super C, is on a F550 chassis. So, Kevin kind of jumped the gun and got this Banks Pedal Monster. I mean, I'm still not sold on why he got this, but we're gonna test it this weekend and see, you know, if this was worth it to buy it at early in this stage of um, the RV. And we're gonna test how everything goes. So it looks like he already opened this because, you know, um, his excitement is, you know, a lot more higher than mine. <laughs> But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll test that out this weekend. We're going to give it a run. We're going to head over to Willow Spring for this weekend to uh, support his brother in his drifting. I guess it's a big get-together called ASB and a lot of drifters go out there. It's a lot of freestyling and whatnot. So we're going to get this set up and I'm going to drive again this weekend. And I'm going to see what if this was worth it. So I'm still not sold yet, but we'll see. All right, guys, let's get this installed. It's pretty simple. You just gotta connect it into the OBD2 sensor and the, what's the, where does the other one go to? The throttle. The throttle control, okay. So it just goes right under there. So the throttle is gonna be the skinny pedal. And as you come up, it's gonna be that clip right there. It's gonna be that clip, just press that clip up. Press it in and pull right out. So what I'm gonna do is plug this in back into here. And then this one, the pigtails off this one. Click. So make sure you lower these red clips. That way it locks in place and it won't come out whatsoever. And then on this end, we're gonna plug this right here, right into the OBD2. Oh, yeah. And then, so this feed, this, this male is gonna go into this female. And then it's gonna split into a six way plug. It's only really four, but it's a six-way plug. Molex. So it doesn't matter if you go left or right. I believe the other one is for the eye dash, which uh, we might think about getting in the future. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, so that's it. So now you just gotta clean it up. So now I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna zip tie everything, and then I'm gonna pull up the app, and then Katie's gonna show you how it works. So yeah, there is an app that you connect to this, so you can monitor. Um, the, the levels and whatnot we'll show you guys once uh, we start hitting the road and we'll have that up for you guys so like I said guys I'm still a little skeptical about it but we'll see let's see how it goes dude it's banks okay all right guys we are getting ready to head out to test this banks pedal monster so let's see how it goes we apologize in advance it's a little dark because since I'm driving, I'm we're leaving a little later than normal so that we can avoid traffic. Let's see if this was worth it or not worth it because it wasn't an item that was planned for us to purchase. So we'll see how everything goes. So I'm just gonna get backed out here and we'll head out in a little bit. All right guys, we are getting ready to hit the freeway. So far, taking some surface streets, I had to make a couple adjustments. I turned it on, I turned, I turned the drive mode onto eco mode because it was too much power and we're not towing. So I'm about to turn onto the freeway and let's see how this um, Turn right onto does. the I-5 north ramp, then merge onto I-5 north. Oh, there's a little bit of traffic. What's up, 
diesel. All right, well, launching on wasn't so bad. I mean, I'm barely tapping on the pedal, guys. I mean, that's what it's for. It's a, it's a base pedal monster. It's just less, okay, so way too much power. <laughs> So we're still doing some adjustments. Kevin's got the app on his phone. So if you guys can see that black bar right there, that's the pedal. That's me. And the red is the, um, the power kicking in. So I'm not like, I'm not pedaling as much as you can see the black, that's the pedal. And the red is the power. So we're kind of stuck in traffic right now, but we're definitely going to turn that back on once we get to that hill climb. There is a hill climb up here, right? Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. There, normally there, there is always a hill climb when we head towards this way. But yeah, it's a little jerky in traffic because, like I said, there's just way, way, like, it's doing its job, definitely. But when I get to that hill climb, I can make my determination if, you know, this was really worth it. So... I'm just gonna try to get through all this traffic guys and I will check back in with you guys in a few. All right, so one thing I've noticed guys while driving in this LA traffic, the response time is definitely quick when you're in traffic situations and you need to switch over really quickly. So there's not that lag time. So I'm not towing, but in a towing situation, I can see where this would be a, a pro for the rig. Because it just pulls it pretty quickly so you can get to the next lane or to, or to pass a semi or something. So that's one good thing that I've noticed so far. Copy that. Alright guys, we took a quick little break real quick to check some stuff out with the shocks. And we're going to start launching to get back into traffic. So let's see how this goes. Should I start moving? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> that little car was trying to catch up to me, but <laughs> The response, yeah, the, res <laughs> <laughs> the response is so quick. So this is where I can see this would be worth it if I was towing. But since I'm not towing, it just went quick so that there was a little car that was trying to, you know, catch up so I wouldn't cut it off. You know, these little cars that like to cut you guys, big rigs off. So <laughs> that was actually nice. Not too bad. So that, that was a good one. That was good. We have started a little bit of a climb and I do feel like my foot is on the throttle a lot more but not as heavy as usual so the power kicks in like right away sometimes I feel like it's too much and I gotta let off and it's probably because I just need to get used to it but I mean guys the it definitely works there's no question about that, but I'm still trying to figure out if it was worth it, so I don't know. <laughs> still figuring that out. So we, uh, we should be getting there before 11, and I'll reflect on my final thoughts, and I'll get back to you guys on that. Alright guys, out here supporting the brother-in-law. We're at Willow Springs for this event called ASB. There's a ton of people out here this weekend. Here they come around the corner.
That was a nice one. for joining us this weekend again we truly appreciate you guys for tuning in every weekend be sure to hit that subscribe button good morning guys we are headed back home after uh, spending the weekend up at Willow Springs Waste Raceway for um, an event called ASB we're out here supporting his brother Kenneth if you guys remember him I'll put his link in the description so I've had the weekend to reflect on my final thoughts on this Banks Pet pedal monster and I mean is it worth it maybe I don't know at a specific I don't know what time I don't know when it would be worth it it does what it says it does there's no doubt and question about that but I guess in your household you should probably speak with your financial manager <laughs> before you uh pick up the device because I would have personally liked to spend the money to I mean pick up some other RV parts I don't know but I mean I'm not I don't mind the, like I said the unit works it, it the power kicks in immediately it does help with the response times when you're coming in and out through traffic and isn't so the drivability better too when you're just it feels like a normal <laughs> truck now right yeah he's trying to sell me on it uh, Oh, well, that's. I mean, I'm, it feels like you're not even having a motorhome because it doesn't lug. There's no power lag. Instant power. So. So. All yeah, in it's all. Worth it. <laughs> he's yes, me, and I'm on the fence. But I, I mean, the the device does work. It no no question about it. I think maybe the timing is a little bit too soon. But at the end of the day, I mean, I'm not upset about it. I. I, I do love the outcome of the device, so I guess at the end of the day, happy spouse, happy house. It goes both ways, so you guys figure it out. Thanks for joining us as always, guys. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> All right, one more climb before we end the video, guys. Um, Kevin's gonna pull up the app and see how the pedal does. We're starting our right, now. ascent. So let go of the throttle a little bit. Okay, my foot's off the throttle. Yeah. You want me to get back on it? Go I ahead. need to, okay. Yeah, there's like- So you see how, well, we have it in sport, moody, sport mode and we're at the lowest power setting. Are you screen recording? Yes. Yeah. So then, as you guys can see, the factory is going to be her foot, which is the black bar, and the bank side is the red bar. So the difference in the ratio that come, puts the output out so the computer can know how much power to put in. So that's the difference. So if we turn the power up, it's going to change the ratio and give a little bit more power through the banks. So that's why I believe this system is pretty awesome. I mean, it doesn't add any more power, but it's just basically opens it uh, up quicker. Utilizes which when the power should kick in. So power management, I should say. I don't know. Maybe that worked. <laughs> you guys decide. <laughs> All right, now I'm starting my descent. 